What's up everybody? It's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are testing out a new lip product that I received from Influencer. Yes, I did receive this product for free from Influencer for me to review for you guys. For those of you who don't know what Influencer is, well, it's basically an app but I would say it's more of a reviewer community. You sign up for it, you start reviewing products, and then you take surveys based off of the surveys that you fill out. If you are a good fit for whatever campaign they're doing at the time, then Influencer will send you a Vox box. That is basically just a Vox box, a free product for whatever campaign with whatever brand or company that they're working with at the time. With their products for you to try out, for you to review. You always have to follow through with the reviews, whether you're posting on Instagram, on Facebook, Twitter, or doing a YouTube video. Either way, you have to follow through in order for you to continue to get Vox boxes. If you get a Vox box, you do all the reviews, you unlock the badge on the app, um, then you now qualify to be in the running to win a mega Vox box from that company to get even more free products from them. Hopefully that makes sense. If you are not signed up with Influencer and you like to review products, you're not opposed to getting free stuff to try out for free and do those reviews, then this is a great community or app for you to sign up with. I will leave a link down below for you to sign up. You know in my spare time, or not my spare time, when I'm bored or things like that, I do go on the app, I do do reviews. They also incorporate your impact score, which is like all your social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, so on and so forth. And they add those all together, the higher your impact score, the better chances of you are to get Vox boxes. But again, you don't have to have a high impact score in order for you to get a Vox box. You just have to be active on the app and do lots of reviews on whatever products. They have every single product you can think of. It's not just makeup. It's not just the beauty community. It's everything. With all that said, let's get into this box. Huh? So the box looks like this. On this side it says Influencer. On this side it has the brand. Bear with me guys. Clé de Pew Butte. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not very good with my pronunciation, so hopefully I'm saying it right. I did hear that this brand is the number one selling uh, beauty brand in Japan. I know that these lipsticks retail for $48 out here in the U.S very very expensive lipstick I don't know if I would be able to make a purchase like that on just one lipstick so hopefully the hype is real this lipsticks gonna do exactly what it said it's gonna do it looks like this I did already take the tissue paper out so whatever and I believe that these are all the shades in this campaign that they're sending out I would have loved to get maybe one of these two colors or both I definitely like the red shade bold shades so so I would have really liked to get one of those. I'm pretty sure I got the purple shade. Also thought it was going to be a matte lipstick, but I'm guessing it's not, especially after looking at all of these. It looks like it's like a high sheen gloss or something. I don't know who's going to spend $48 on a gloss, but hey, to each is their own, right? In the box, you have this little card that kind of explains everything, so I'm just going to read it to you. Play de Pew Butte, an ultra luxurious skincare and makeup collection, beautifully unites cutting edge science, exquisite aesthetic sense with modern elegance. Okay. Today, Clé de Pew Butte brings you our coveted radiant liquid rouge, a glossy stain that delivers long wearing color that melts into lips for a shiny vinyl look. Okay. On the back it just kind of gives you tips for application but it also says this holiday season unlock the power of your radiance with radiant liquid rouge mm -hmm. this luxurious glossy stain delivers long wearing color that melts into lips for a shiny vanilla look okay we just said that I just have to be completely honest with you guys. When we got the email that we were in this box and kind of like trying to snoop on social media to find out what we were getting, how much of it we were getting, and I honestly thought that we were going to get maybe two to three lipsticks in the box. So I'm kind of disappointed that we only got one. I kind of felt like gypped. I was like super excited like, oh my god, these lipsticks, and then there was one. But hey, it's for free and I'm gonna try it out anyway. On the box of the lipstick, it says rich color, highly reflective, shine, lasting finish, and it just says number 15, so I'm guessing that's the shade. 
I don't know. So when you open it up, it looks like this. It feels super luxurious, so I guess that's where that $48 is going. It feels pretty heavy as well. It just feels like an expensive piece of product. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad at that. I really do love the packaging. It's very chic. It's very elegant. I love how it has like the ombre effect going into the color of the lipstick. So I do like that a lot. Should we just try this on? Oh, let me swatch it first. Oh yeah, it's definitely a glossy stain. Now, it seems to be a little patchy when you put it like on my hand. It's going to be something that you have to build up for coverage on your lips. But, I mean, it's not an ugly color. Like, it's pretty. Let's get this on the lips, though. Okay, so if you notice, I did have to dip back into the little bottle for more product. Now, first impressions, it's a cute color. You definitely have to build it up for coverage on your lips, otherwise it will look a little streaky and patchy. But overall, pretty color, like I'm not mad at that. Now, it doesn't feel sticky at all. Doesn't feel like it will stick to your lips like that. Nothing's got on my teeth yet. So far we're doing we're doing pretty good. I mean overall it's cute. Like I I would never wear this to go to a party or go to an event because if I touch my face or accidentally touch my lips, I would be very self-conscious, kind of wondering what is happening over here? Did something smear? Do I need to reapply? So that's ultimately why I love matte lipsticks because you put it on, it stays on, you really don't have to worry about it till you're about to take your makeup off. Also thinking that this would look pretty cute on top of a purple matte lipstick, so I might even try that in the video as well just to kind of give both effects and see what it does over a purple lipstick it just seems like another gloss that's what it seems like to me just another gloss what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go have some lunch I'm gonna eat some food see what happens to the gloss as I do that I'm not going to retouch it I'm not gonna do anything I'm just gonna go eat a meal and I'll be back and show you guys kind of what happened all right you guys so I went and had lunch I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys I thought it was gonna take every single thing off my lips but I still have a little bit on there not too bad huh I mean, it is a gloss, so it's not like a gloss will stay on your lips forever. You will eventually have to reapply. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to put on a matte lipstick and then put that over and see what it does with that. Okay, gloss is off. We're going to put on a matte purple lipstick and then put the gloss on top of that and see what that looks like. I'm just going to use this Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Fly. All right, let's get this on top. So that's actually pretty pretty, <laughs> right? You can definitely see this gloss shade on top of the lipstick and I think it works pretty well together. I think it adds a nice effect on top of a matte lipstick so you can use this multiple ways. Final thoughts on this little lip gloss stain paint whatever you want to call it, $48. I personally don't think I would spend the money on this. If it was a matte lipstick, I would probably be thinking something completely different, but because it is a gloss, I just would never spend that amount of money on a gloss. If you are a gloss person, I think this is a great gloss to have. It does give you a color to your lips. It doesn't feel tacky. It doesn't feel sticky. It's a very nice feeling on your lips and I did eat food with it. It didn't take it all off. It definitely took some of it off, but it didn't take everything off. I think that what I like most about this is the packaging itself. This is just, oh, to die for. It reminds me of like YSL or something like that. Just very chic and elegant. Looks beautiful. All right, you guys, this is it for this Influencer Clay de Pew Butte Vox Box. I hope you enjoyed going through this process of me trying out this $48 lip gloss, okay? And if you haven't signed up, don't forget that I left my link down below for you to sign up, start reviewing, and get free products like me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Vox Box Clé de Pew Butte review, make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!